What's up guys, Saklash here and today we are going to talk about the latest and the greatest cell phone from Samsung called the Galaxy Note 10 and uh, if you already know about this device then you would be knowing that this device is going to come in two different variants. There is going to be a regular Note 10 which is going to be a smaller phone and then there is going to be a Note 10 Plus. Now when I say a smaller phone it is still a bigger phone than all the other devices on the market. So Note 10 Plus is surely going to be a beast and in this video we are going to talk about how these two devices are going to differ and why everyone is going to prefer the Note 10 Plus. Now you already know that when Samsung started making multiple model of its flagship smartphones with the Galaxy S series, most of the people opted out for the larger display variant which was the Galaxy S10 Plus at that time because it had a larger display, a bigger battery and more importantly some extra features. Uh, so now with Note 10, it is obvious that most of the time people are going to buy the Note 10 Plus uh, mainly because uh, whenever someone is going to buy a Note device, they are already in love with the large display of Note series and also because Note series is a phone which already has people using it with two hands so it is not a single hand device not the Samsung portrait as a single hand device because you already use S Pen which requires a second hand use so might as well just get a device which has a bigger display and better specifications so enough talking about that let's just dive into it and see what are going to be the major differences between the regular Note 10 and the bigger brother the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now a new report recently uh, released reiterates that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus will be the only model of the upcoming uh, flagship with a micro SD card feature and you already know that Samsung users prefer this feature over any other feature every single day. Even though it may have 256 GB of internal storage, uh, it is very easy to transfer files using a micro SD card and it is always a good option to have a micro SD card so you can expand your storage whenever you want to and uh, it's one of those scenarios where you might never use this slot but if it is taken away then most of the users are going to be pissed off. Now it is a great saying that with great power comes great responsibility and with Galaxy Note 10 Plus with great display comes a great battery life. Uh, with Galaxy Note 10 we are going to expect somewhere around 35 milliampere, uh, 3500 mAh hour battery which means it is going to be a very standard battery and comparing it to the current battery trend it is going to be a tad bit uh, lower than what we expect from Note series. However if you buy the bigger variant you are going to get a larger battery which is going to be a 4300 mAh battery which is going to give you a better battery life and also a big difference between the battery life of these two phones is going to be because of the reason that Note 10 is going to be uh, first a flagship phone from Samsung after so long that they are going to update it from 15 watts to 25 watts uh, on the regular Note 10 and if you buy the Note 10 Plus you are going to get a charger which is supposedly uh, going to give you around 45 watts of current and believe me that will mean that your phone will be 0 to 100 uh, within 45 minutes so that is a great number we already see some leaks of this charger floating around and uh, Samsung is already working on some other power bricks as well so in future uh, it is reported that these cell phones via an OTA update can support even higher uh, wattage of chargers. Now as far as performance and internals are concerned we are not going to see much of a difference as both of these devices are going to support the same chipset and it is reported that uh, the Exynos variant is going to come with Exynos 9825 which is going to be a better version of Exynos 9820 which was uh, released with Galaxy S10. Also if you are buying a Snapdragon variant it is reported that the Snapdragon variant is going to come with Snapdragon 850 55, which means that this time around the Exynos variant is going to be the better option so if you are in a market uh, for Note series and you find the option of getting either Snapdragon or Exynos variant then you should definitely go for the Exynos one. Also the larger model this time around is going to support 12 gigabytes of RAM and storage options up to 1 terabyte so this is going to tempt every single user to buy the larger phone. Also the triple camera system on the Note series is uh, going to be exactly same as what you saw with Galaxy S10 Plus. However with Note 10 Plus you are going to see an extra TUF sensor which means that you are going to get uh, four cameras on the back and these four cameras are going to be uh, much likely uh, similar to the ones we saw with Galaxy S10 5G. 
It was also reported that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is supposedly coming with a headphone jack but recent reports suggest that both these devices are going to ditch that option and personally it makes me feel sad because uh, this option was one of the uh, leading uh, reasons why most of the people were considering Note devices because Note devices never compromise on things. It's not that you will use that uh, feature but it was always a good thing to have it in place when you need it. So personally I don't like the fact that they are removing micro SD or even the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack but uh, I guess this is the way to future and we will see where it all ends so if you're new to the channel do subscribe because I will try to upload more content regarding note series and other stuff uh, whenever it is available and uh, like this video if you liked it and do let me know if you didn't like anything and I will catch you in the next one